Concerns are being raised about the long hours worked by deputies at the Bear County Jail. Some say it's not only having a negative impact on deputies, but on inmates as well. Eyewitness News reporter Mariah Medina has more about how the pandemic has increased the demand. This person here stood by and did nothing. Deputy Jean Camacho Morales had worked two back-to-back 16-hour -back shifts at the jail without breaks leading up to the inmate assault, which landed him in handcuffs Tuesday night. Our officers are working anywhere from 58 to 64 hours a week right now. Uh, in security positions where they need to be alert. And Deputy Sheriff's Association President Jeremy Payne says in many cases since the onset of the pandemic, deputies are forced to work three 16-hour shifts a week. This fueled by an already short-staffed sheriff's office and now quarantine guidelines. Uh, men and women, they're only getting like, you know, four hours of sleep, five hours of sleep, and then they're asked to do another 16-hour shift. Multiple studies have shown a correlation between fatigue in law enforcement officers and job performance. Many area agencies, including the Leon Valley, Balcony Heights, and San Antonio Police Departments, have caps on hours officers are able to work. The Sheriff's Office today confirmed it does not have a policy setting a maximum number of overtime hours for deputies, but that overtime is tracked at all levels. And while the union says the agency has stepped up its recruiting efforts, they welcome policies protecting deputies from job-related fatigue in the meantime. Mariah Medina, Ken's 5 Eyewitness News.